Item number, SCP-5886. Object class, Kater. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5886 is seemingly self-contained within humanoid containment chamber number 1939, hereafter referred to as HCC-1939, at Site-42. Testing of SCP-5886 has been suspended until feasible means of doing so are found. Description. SCP-5886 appears to be a dark-skinned male, approximately aged in its late teens or early twenties. Since its discovery, the subject has been completely motionless and intangible. The only evidence to SCP-5886's identity is its t-shirt, which bears the words, I am James Biggio, leave me alone, written in black marker. A background check into the name James Biggio turned up a missing persons report for the subject out of Athens, Ohio, dated December 4th, 2013. Attempts to remove the bed SCP-5886 is lying on results in personnel appearing outside of the containment chamber with no memory of leaving the room. Adjustments to temperature within the chamber are similarly reversed. Discovery Log SCP-5886 manifested outside of HCC-1939 on October 4th, 2013. Janitorial staff discovered the subject lying on the bed and alerted site security. Security unsuccessfully attempted to apprehend the subject before contacting research staff. Addendum SCP-5886-1 Disappearance On August 18th, 2020, the Pegasus Rising Project, a Site-42-based transdimensional experiment with the goal of providing a means of evacuation in case of a failure to avert an X-case scenario, successfully created a wormhole for a span of 5 microseconds, causing a power outage throughout Site-42. Upon a safety check of containment chambers, SCP-5886 was missing from its chamber. A note was left in its place. The contents of the letter are transcribed below. The snowflakes froze mid-air. So did everything around me. The cars on the street, my parents. Mom, Dad. I screamed at them. Mom, Mom, Dad. I pushed my dad and he hung in the air, frozen like the snowflakes. I called for help. I searched through town for anyone who would move. Oh God, why aren't you moving? Is there anyone there? Anyone at all? I walked around for hours. The whole town was stone still. I don't know when I fell asleep, but when I woke up, it was still night. I went back for my parents. My dad had moved. Not in front of me, but he wasn't hanging in the air. He was halfway from where I left him in the ground. My mom was looking at him now. I stayed with them for a while, but eventually I went exploring. I stopped in a restaurant and picked up some food. Less some cash, not that it matters at this point. While I was eating on a bench, I saw a hummingbird floating in the air next to the bushes. It had this beautiful red color under its throat, and I sat and watched it. After an hour or so, I'm guessing my watch and cell phone are useless, I noticed its wings were moving. Not that I could see, but it was definitely halfway from top to bottom when it was at the top before. In my time like this, I've read every new book in every library I've come across. Not a lot of TV shows I can watch. A ruby-throated hummingbird beats its wings 50 times every second, and it took an hour and a half for it to move halfway. I've helped people too. People in front of cars about to get hit, falling off a bridge. I've saved lives, but then they just stare off into nothing. I want to say I got used to not being thanked, but this fucking sucks. I found one of your guys in the library in Chicago. They had dropped a bunch of books with pictures of a weird blue mouse, and I saw a logo I didn't recognize on their badge. I came here and found your library. The things you guys research here are incredible. God, I wish I could see some of it in action. Then I saw this thing you guys are calling Pegasus Rising. A wormhole to another dimension? Finally, something different. Maybe someone I could talk to. So I picked an empty cell and stayed here. Stayed still long enough that you guys could actually see me. And now, you don't. Thanks for the room. SCP-5886's reclassification to uncontained is pending. <laughs>